Welcome to Show Up and Glow. My name is Jalen. This is my cozy corner, a space created just for you to tune in and chill out. If this interests you, I invite you to find some headphones, a quiet space, and join me for a calming and comforting experience. If this is not for you, that is okay. I appreciate you stopping by. As you notice yourself enjoying your stay, please make sure to like and subscribe for more of this calm and cozy vibe. Now let's get started. I'm still recovering from being a little sicky sick, a little sicky sick a couple weeks back. So um, bear with me. I have my favorite little cutie beaker water bottle. Try not to cough in your face. So I might be taking a couple of drinky drinks from this as we go along because your girl is going to be talking today. We're going to be talking today. I have something that you might be familiar with or you might be like, I don't care about that. And that's not the point today. The point is to relax, calm down, and get cozy. So I don't really want you like thinking. I just want you observing and taking it all in. Okay. So today, I thought we would go through Neiman Marcus Holiday Catalog. They actually call it the Christmas book because it is the size of a Vogue magazine. And what is unique, unique and special about the Neiman Marcus Christmas book is they will put in this catalog, like this is like a big kid version of the Toys R Us catalog that we would look through as children. This is the adult version now, okay? And while, yes, they have these lovely garments for sale and Christmas um, gift sets, they also have extravagant gifts that you can literally buy from this catalog. So. We're gonna go through and browse, kind of the like, oh, look at that, look at this, oh, look at, look a little candy set, little this. And then at the end, we're gonna hit you with the kind of like, oh my God. And people buy this, y'all. You can Google like, Neiman Marcus Christmas book, um, like past years and see what they have offered and see that they have been purchased. So, get yourself some water or a cup of tea or you know my favorite hot chocolate it's the holidays get some hot chocolate I even wore my most festive my most festive PJ set for this video so um, this is the Neiman Marcus oh for those of you who don't know what Neiman Marcus is, it is a luxury department store. It has been around for over 100 years and it was founded in Dallas, Texas and that original location downtown still remains. It is quite historic and Neiman Marcuses are found all over the country of America. I don't know if they're global yet. So, this is their holiday catalog. So it's gonna have a lot of clothing and, you know, fine jewelry, this, that, because it's a big department store. But at the end is where they have the wildest gifts that, like I said, will be purchased and some already have. So, it says, make the moment. the Christmas book 2022. Now, just a little bit of history. 
Neiman Marcus was the first to ever put out a Christmas catalog. Um, so it's been around for a hundred years, so we're gonna backtrack over a hundred years, well over a hundred years. Um, we're gonna backtrack to what the time of life was like when a Christmas catalog came out telling people this is what you need to get for Christmas. So like a hundred years ago, retail stores were not a thing. Um, people were still hand making their clothing like that was a time in our life You know, you weren't going to a department store because nothing was mass manufactured So in the early days of the Neiman Marcus Christmas book they would offer like I'm not kidding. You can look it up. They will offer like a cow a Black Angus cow was in the first Christmas book and they said, you can buy it served on a silver platter or on all fours. They would just bring a black Angus cow to your house. Or they would serve it on a silver platter with a like butler or someone like wheeling that platter to your house like down the road. So that was in the first one. Now let's see what's in 2022. This is cute. These look like purses, handbags. So this little cutie guy, the Doberman, that is going to cost you Kindle's Doberman. Um, that little clutch is going to cost you $5,695. And apparently this is some um, Kardashian inspired page that I had no idea about, but... Oh, it's autographed so you can get the... the Kindle's Doberman. It's going to be $5,000. Oh, this is cool. Look at this chess set. It's pretty unique. That chess set will cost you $3,850. Now let's find something. I mean, that's, that's like what this is full of. It's just um, like lavish and extravagant gifts. But then you get to this page. This book is so big. And it says, make it savory. And the items on this page, like this candle is $65. This hot honey sauce is $80. The barbecue Bible is $110. Ay, ay, ay. And then of course they have like beautiful fashion photography that's holiday vibes and seasonal and look, I grew up in America. Christmas catalogs were 100,000% a thing in my home growing up. We would go through the catalog and circle what we wanted and then turn it right back over to our parents and then we prayed to Santa Claus, Jesus, God, the Easter Bunny, the Tooth Fairy, um, the Leprechauns. We prayed to everyone, the turkey, that we would get what we circled in the magazines. And, you know, like, did we need all that stuff? Absolutely not. But Christmas catalogs, oh, they are so nostalgic for me. Um, I 
I don't have anyone I could just turn this over to circle that would be like yeah hey, let me let me get that for you <laughs> wouldn't that be delightful I'm just like here this is um, this is it this is everything in here I need just because oh they have sequin Uggs I got a pair of sequin Uggs one year for Christmas. They were red, like ruby red slippers, because why do you think I wanted ruby red slipper Uggs? We all know. We all know my Wizard of Oz obsession. So yeah, I do, I actually have this pair in red. And I've had them for like 10 years. Okay, okay, let's get to the crazy stuff. Let's get to the crazy stuff. Oh, well, this is cute. It has like white elephant party gifts. Ooh, those are really pretty little, little glasses. Oh, look at this cute squirrel down here. He's a match holder. Oh, maybe I need that for the cozy corner. Oh my God. He's so cute. He would fit with this vibe. It's $45. If anybody would like to send me that, thank you so much. Thank you so much ahead of time. Okay, so these are called fantasy gifts. So we're at the page where we're about to unleash the wildness that is the name of Marcus. Christmas book, fantasy gifts. Here's what it says. The 2022 fantasy gifts. Create moments that dreams are made of with this year's extraordinary fantasy gifts from a private basketball court session with one of history's top players to a Paris trip where you customize your fragrance with a world-renowned perfumer, to a rare diamond tiara. Explore the one-of-a-kind selection of gifts and experiences designed to embody the magic and delight of the season. Because it's time to celebrate the holidays with the finest gifts of all, an unforgettable moment. Now that, that is, that is true. If you have enough money to like buy an experience, Oh my god. Alright, so right off the bat we have the $3.2 million tiara. Okay. So, claim it below. You know, claim it below if this is what you, if this is what you need. This is what you would like to have. Oh my god, you can also wear it like a necklace. It's a beautiful photo. Next up we have the Barbie Maserati. 330... I'm sorry. $330,000. Barbie Maserati, everybody! Take it all in cost as much as a house. Who, who would like it? Everybody. Down below in the comments. Like, I'm such a brat. I'm like, mm, I don't really like the green detail on it. It's a freaking Barbie as well. Oh, now I do love this one. It says, a festive moment. Christmas traditions with Jim Marvin. Jim Marvin, oh, Jim Marvin has decorated the White House for more than 20 years. So you can win your own home being decorated by him for $190,000. Almost as much as my house costs. Almost as much as someone's home costs. Like, that's the thing, like... $190,000 for this experience. Oh 
oh my god, like, your home has to be worth millions to make this worth it, you know? It has to be White House level to make it worth it. This one sounds delightful also, though. Heston Napa Valley Luxury Experience. $175,000. And it just looks beautiful. It's just like, come to Napa and... Oh, I forgot to mention also, in all of these fantasy gifts, money is donated. So at the bottom here, it says $10,000 of this price is donated. So they're not being super greedy, but you know, this is, this is extravagant. This is elaborate. This is luxury. Here's this, a personalized scent in Paris trip with Mace, Maison Francis Kirk Dijon. His perfumes are really, really popular and they smell really, really good. Like this is a good gift, $65,000 to go make your own perfume. something else guys so what do you think what do you want oh the Neiman Marcus Christmas book I think I want, hmm, hmm, I really want that Napa experience, I think it would just be beautiful, it would just be beautiful, it looked really, really relaxing and luxurious and um, once in a lifetime, did you go through Christmas catalogs growing up when you were a kid. You know, usually that stopped after, for me at least, like the age of 10. But back then I was asking for things like, you know, a Furby. And I loved my Furby. Freaked me out. Freaked me out. I turn on at night by itself. What's that about? Spirits. Um, I, I did ask for those ruby red Ugg sequin boots when I was well over 10 years old and it was a lovely gift and I still have it. Um, as a kid I always wanted a Barbie house for my Barbies and I never got that. I also wanted an electric little car, like a little Jeep or a little Barbie car and I never got that. Did I turn out okay? Yes. Does it still haunt me to this day? I guess. Clearly. No, I'm over it. You know, the older we get, the this Christmas book is really fun to think about and look at and um, just get all the feels. But look, I'm I understand the time of the holidays is, it means more now just spending it with family, hosting family for Thanksgiving in the States, or hosting family for Christmas, or hosting family and friends for New Year's, and um, those, those are the moments, of course, that I cherish the most, but um, if I, if I, if I could have anything, I would get one of those, it was not, it was not in this book. I would get one of those like full body 
massaging chairs. Have you seen those? Where you like put your arms in it and it looks like it looks like a spaceship and you like put your arms in it and you put your legs and your whole body and then you like sit in it and it like massages like everything. It's like ten thousand dollars. I would really want that as a grown as a grown kid. That would be like the most cozy and relaxing spot besides my cozy corner that I could have in my house. You know what I mean? For just for fun, just for fun. Like let's have fun. Life is so hard and serious right now. Like just for fun, what would you want for Christmas this year? Or whatever holiday you celebrate, what would you want to receive this year? Like price wasn't an option or price wasn't a, a factor. You could get anything. What would you want? Tell me in the comments below. And maybe it's not even material. Maybe it's an experience. Maybe it's something to do with a family member or a friend or something. Tell me below in the comments. Let's have a little fun this holiday season and just kind of lighten up a little bit because it is hard out there. And that's why I appreciate you coming to the cozy corner because you're taking some time to slow down and just relax for a little bit and we're allowed to be happy and we're we're allowed to feel good so tell me below what you want for christmas i already told you so if you want to if you want to send that big old massage chair my way folks let's go next time you see me i'm like hi welcome to welcome to show up i'm going i'm like in the big chair like just getting massaged right here i'm like today Wouldn't that be great? That'd be great. Thank you so much for joining me today. You can be anywhere on the internet, you can be anywhere on YouTube, and you chose to be here, and I really, really appreciate that. So, I'll see you again real soon.